Greetings and salutations, this is Philly Cat, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We just did the prologue in the previous episode. Uh, found out the real secret of the school and why its a uh, guarantee of success exists. At least I think I know a little something about that. Anyway, you must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, my breath caught my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fe fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. as heavy as the air felt. All it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand there around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <clears throat> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Huh? If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. What the... And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... But... Well, before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Momo could have mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright. Fine, so now let's then... hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that pup appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected, selected the school regulations icon. I don't insist appeared on screen, it was the school regulations. In other words, rules. Students may reside only within the school, but leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up on the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's face. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there's a respawn waiting for him. <clears throat> Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, that's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> but none of that made much sense to me, but are you saying you will follow the regulations? Is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Yeah, yeah, we already covered that. Uh-huh. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Well, why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. 
such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. Hmm. We need to find out what where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone in here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a <clears> second. Wait, hold on. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? The fuck's that supposed to be? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence over the boundless ocean. You're fucking I'm dead. gonna kick your ass. Stop it. We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You're some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? What do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of fuck a you. bitch. Fuck you. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimate tableau may fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised if it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of, this, of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? <clears throat> ah, F1 key. That's the... Yeah. Got it. Understood. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Metal plate mounted here. Really? A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone, yeah, I'm not allowed to mess with them. Got it. A notepad. School must have given these out to everybody. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new, still in the shrink wrap. Don't need it right now, so I'm gonna leave it here. This must be the key to the room. My name is written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. So we got a monitor. Ugh. It appeared to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. Guess it's locked. Trash can. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says Announcement from Headmaster Headmaster Motokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, please note the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. 
Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One style will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So, some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Uh-huh. This was my assigned room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Leave the area. Yes, please. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was something out of an old TV show. Ah! Oh! Uh, Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. <clears throat> Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I'm actually, I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um... But, are you okay? You know, from when Mundo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Lakota. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... <clears throat> Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. If you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to cut together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Don't think there's much of anything to see here right now. I kind of wish I had a controller, to be honest, but I don't like using keyboard controls. They're uncomfortable for me. Well, for a lot of games they are. Not every game. Like, I use them for WoW, but that's really just about the only thing. Oh, and I guess Subnautica too. I can't play right now because my nice fancy GPU blew the fuck up in a puff of smoke and I haven't had the money to replace it, so... Kind of shit out of luck on that regard. Here we are. This must be the dining hall. Um... It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here at all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have an ama I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? I don't think so. I think she's legit psychic. It's kind of sudden, I know. Oh, it's another stupid tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I covered this yesterday. Camera. Yep. Noted. Surprise is a reaction to the outside there. Just around the school crest. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> time is it? Seven o'clock at night? Oh my gosh. Uh, um, you were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. I think at least one of them was already crazy. Oh, okay. I think that pretty much covers it. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuous self introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? <clears throat> Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class 4 though, do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. <clears throat> well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average in everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal people would call me boring. Ah, What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage. Again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay! And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it just gets me pumped up. Hey, um, I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed the Taka through open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. <clears throat> ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, then? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it! Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in, strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, <clears throat> everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here! Hold on a sec. What are you talking what's about? Wrong? <clears throat> what about, uh, what's your name? You know, the silver haired girl? <gasps> oh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <clears throat> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? <clears throat> Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stopping, strangling, rudging, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Do it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. 
is a possible, but she really... No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Damn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? <sighs> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know... Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become a personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant thought is disgusting in life. These two are ridiculous. <clears throat> um, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's left to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see! Byakuya, that's a name. And Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Looks like... Leon, Hiro, and Junko and all of you... Yeah. Same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifume were left over, so they joined up. Um... This is convoluted as hell, by the way. I'm not really a fan you of how see. this is working. I wanted to try and find some clues to who is responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Hmm. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally would have had more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right, understood. I feel like this could have been a little bit better refined. You see? I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century! I found that there is exactly one room for each person. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already had a nameplate on it, and so I guess all the rooms have been signed already. Hmm. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name, precision etched onto it. And pause. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, the next door neighbor could scream my lungs out and wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like they were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Yeah. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> but that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor's student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Um. You see. Hmm. When you went all up and down the school, double checking the windows on all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. It sucks. Bad, bad, It bad, really bad, sucks. Bad. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. You see? We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we were looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. <laughs> it was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... 
But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. Well, looking at the school from the outside, it went way, way, way up, so... There are at least three or four floors here, I would imagine. Maybe more than that. <clears throat> and if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um... You see... Let's see... If I'm being honest, I can't quite see we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of new detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, it's not like any of you in invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? <clears throat> if you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with dirty slut like you. Hmm? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I... I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Yeah, that's not cool hey, at all. come on. <clears throat> Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So, that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Um... I went to have a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <clears throat> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? No, but you probably should go on a diet. I mean, if you ever are in a situation where you literally have to run for your life, you might as well just lie down and let them kill you. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> and, and I should know that because I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever had to run for my life, I'd be fucked. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking out the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I couldn't believe someone could have been moving him around with a whole patrol. That's... <clears throat> a weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But, was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? <laughs> eat her? You're disgusting! Oh! Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually... Not that there, there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey! Hey, stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <laughs> She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or... Voice cut through noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of po Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the, where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. Actually, it does. I think she might be a plant. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But <clears throat> more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in the pod precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. <clears throat> So, what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. 
It's so stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the company's future elite country's future elite is supposed to come and learn? But what if this is really Hope's peak? Where are all the other students? Yeah. Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! <clears throat> worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned, right? Planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak are put all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just get, gotta chill and everything will work itself out. I don't think it's that simple, hero. <laughs> What's your problem? Well, why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investing was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find who's behind it. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh, huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to... <clears throat> Good lord. Understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the, regar the rule regarding nighttime, right? Let's see. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. <clears throat> the school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. Then what can we do? <clears throat> I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lita said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So, everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Movie with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seems so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. <laughs> um... Well then, let's say we call it into today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can re reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting to sleep. Oh, so we sucks. have to just give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the Our end... Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. 
Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy, mo heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Koto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom before I go to bed. Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzzz. Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you saw a ghost or something. Listen, like some kind of robot. There, a ghost. Well, what are you doing here? What? Makoto Naege! This is super duper majorly bad, so bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical, awful, awful attack! Uh-huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is just be isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey! Um... Did you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks! Yeah! I need a lock on a boys' bathroom, it's kinda pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert in the birds and bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So, you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't quite fit. You're not- you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Bye bye Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed, exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've been suddenly dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, it'd, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Sumoto Kumo would be a kind teacher. Well, when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Well, that was one hell of a first day. Be sure to come back and check out what happens tomorrow. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.